bringing some here. <laughs> Did you guys just hear Rachel scream? Yep. Oh, yeah. That was a dog. So, so we have this like two and a half foot giraffe that I hide around the house in random places. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the fun of bourbon is to get into bourbon clubs, do picks, and some really cool people build their entire picks around charities. So this is a charity that our good friend Lance with the Whiskey Tornado does, which is called hmm. Barrels for Hope. Uh, and they picked a Nashville Barrel Company bottle. So I have been wanting to try Nashville Barrel Company. I joined the charity organization so that I could get this bottle and a couple others that you'll probably see in the future. It is a seven year old bourbon that is 127.20 proof. So these are supposed to go for about $65, $70 for some reason in the Louisville area. I don't find them for under like 90 and that's a little too high for me for a seven year old. Uh, so I was glad to be able to get this bottle through the Barrels for Hope organization and they rave about it. So I'm excited to see what you guys think. How does that feel, TJ? Like the well, barrel is on the other foot. Usually it's you get the MSRP stuff and my stuff is always way overpriced. It's terrible. I'm tired of... yeah. Tennessee hating on Kentucky. Though the other day I walked into a uh, liquor barn and they had uh, like 30 bottles of Jack Daniels barrel proof rye for $65. And I was like, what is going on? We, we have something. And I have yet to see one bottle of that in my area locally mm -hmm. on the shelf. One. It's not like it's a really good rye or anything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, it's probably, it's Jack Daniels, so it's like distribution probably, you know, is a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I don't know why we can't. Sa that. Says the guy who has the ultimate Jack Daniel bottles, so I really don't feel that sorry for you. It's true. Do you still have All some right. of that Quail? Yeah. Oh, I do, brother. I'm milking that thing. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll probably bring it the next time we all get together. It might be the last time we have it but we'll have it so i get really super sweet on the nose and almost it reminds me of a rum some rum finish notes in there some cocoa or not cocoa uh, coconut i'm getting a popcorn like a sweet caramel popcorn okay I could see the popcorn hold or like that, that, yeah, that the popcorn smell also being conflated with the, uh, like the, the raw sugar cane. Mm -hmm. I mean, when the corn expert says he smells popcorn, I'm <laughs> going to refer to the corn expert. So mm. now, now is it like sweet popcorn or like hearty popcorn? You feel like I'm just ignoring you. I feel like there's hints of like this doughy ethanol. Almost like to go with the, do you get that at all? Or am I, I might be by myself here. Perhaps that's what I'm calling popcorn. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Could be. Doughy ethanol. No, I'm not getting, I'm getting nothing that I would classify as doughy. Yeah. And then on the, the palate and the finish, it is like liquid candy. It's very viscous. So it covers the whole mouth, but it's super, super sweet. Uh, and then transitions into a very traditional peppery, uh, cardamom, spicy finish. Not quite like a habanero finish, but it definitely keeps building like those do. Yeah, wow. on the palate, palate for me though is like you get like some rich oak. It's not like a Knob Creek eighteen year kind of a old oak, but it's like a. It flirts that line between like a musty wood and just like like rich wood. Um and not a toasted. It's not it's not like young American oak, but right. Um it it gives it a really nice depth and complexity along with that viscosity that you talked about, TJ. That's like that palette is powerful. 
I mean, we were just like, it's in my mind because we were just talking about Jack Daniels, but it's like that, it almost reminds me of some of like the Jack 10, Jack 12 of yeah. that like smokiness. It's, I might, I might go out on them here and feel free to edit this out, but I almost feel like cigar box, like what, like, is what that tastes yeah. like on the palate. Um, I can go for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, yeah, it's not that old. It's not quite like it's not quite musty wood, but yeah, like cigar box is how I would classify that. I do get plenty of sweetness in with that, which is a really nice combo mm-hmm. of just like layered flavors of you got this cigar box plus sweetness. Yeah. This is like a bottle I would love to have. Mm-hmm. Like the complexity here is just, I feel like, through the roof. Like if you're getting like a a special pick bottle like i would like i would prefer not just have like some run-of-the-mill bottle that's going to be like tastes like the same like the normal stuff or tastes like 15 other things this is incredibly unique and complex and um just like my first reaction was wow like when i tasted the the palette and the finish on this so yeah lance do you have any bottles left I will mm-hmm. gladly take them, brother. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely doing some really good stuff at Nashville Barrel Company. And for if you can find it for the sixty-five, I'd even go seventy dollars for their stuff. It's just really, really good. I like I said, I've been wanting a bottle, and this just was the perfect opportunity. The last nudge I needed to join the organization and everything like that. But for their first bottle I got from them. This is Mm -hmm. one heck of a bottle. So I would say if you find Nashville Barrel Company in your area and you don't have one and you have a store or someplace that you really trust their palate, you got to pick one up. And they also do rye. So if you're more of a rye person, go that route. But I I would say Nashville Barrel Co. deserves to be on your shelf. Absolutely. Um, This is one like I've think maybe i've seen around or at least you know in some bourbon groups have seen and um yeah this is one now i'm actually excited if i can find one around at a you know at a good price point um this is something i have to add to my shelf yeah yeah dang i mean you guys are you said 65 dollars. i think this is drinking a yeah. hundred plus in my mind i'm the wobble <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> does does TJ have a deal for you? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's already, you know, it's open. That's half a uh, already lost half its value. I think. You know, I, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to shower after this, but um, I'm actually gonna say that, I, like, I kind of agree with Chuck. Like, I feel like at the sixty five dollar price point on this, I would, yeah, I, I would probably put this in the deal category. Um, which is always nice. Um, I don't know, 100 plus. I'm quite going there. Um, but this is one. I mean, it's I, better I, than the last several Discovery series. It's it's honestly, TJ, I think it's drinking better than that 10 year MGP that I just I mean, I opened the night with. Like, this what is I'm really is, good. This is going to have to be in our best of. We might have to do a single barrel best of this year. What, what you also might be hearing is grab it while you can. Because once word gets out, you may not be able to, at oh, least at yeah. this price point. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I would say that this would drink up to eighty to ninety dollars for me. At sixty-five, I'm feeling great. Yeah. All right, there we go. So that's what we got to say. And Lance, if you watch this. Chuck would really appreciate like an invite and a magic bottle appearing. So with that, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Any. Our bourbon.